Hi, I'm Alison Appius, Wine Spectator's lead taster for the wines of northeastern Italy, including the region of Trentino Alto Adige. This area is about two hours northwest of Venice, and it produces a wide array of red, white, and sparkling wines. And joining us today from one of the top producing sparkling wines is Matteo Lunelli of Ferrari. Welcome. Thank you very much. And can you tell us a little bit about the history of Ferrari? Sure. It's a long history and everything happened in Trentino because the company was founded by Giulio Ferrari. This is where the name comes from. And it was founded exactly in 1902. Giulio Ferrari studied enology in Trentino and then he specialized uh, in Montpellier. And uh, after his studies in Montpellier, he passed, spent some time in Saint Maison de Champagne. And this is where he learned Method Champenoise, Method Champenoise. Coming back to his own land, to his own native land, everything started from an intuition. The intuition that Trentino would have been a, a, a great land to grow Pinot Noir and Chardonnay grapes uh, to create uh, an outstanding sparkling wine. And uh, this is the origin of Ferrari as well as the origin of the Trento Doc, which is uh, the Metodo Classico of Trentino. You mentioned the Trento Doc or the Trento DOC, which is the appellation that you produce this sparkling wine from. What are the grapes that you use in this area? In the DOC of Trento Doc, uh, it's mainly, we mainly use a Chardonnay and Pinot Noir, even if also Pinot Bianco and Pinot Meunier are allowed. Uh, the Trento DOC actually has been the first DOC in Italy which is exclusively dedicated to sparkling wine Metodo Classico. And it's actually the second in the world. So it's a DOC that uh, wants to create a wine that represents the territory of Trentino. And Trentino is a land on the northeast uh, part of Italy. So we are north of Verona on the border towards Austria. We are in the middle of the Alps. Trentino is a land uh, made of uh, beautiful lakes, uh, uh, outstanding uh, beautiful mountains, valleys. The climate ranges from the Mediterranean climate uh, of the Garda Lake mm -hmm. up to the cooler climate of the mountains. And this, uh, the diversity of this territory is one of the key for the production of Trento Doc. Very good. And you mentioned that you have to make wines from the Trento Doc with the Metodo Classico or the classic method. Sure. And you're using grapes that are similar to the grapes you see in Champagne. But can you compare to another Italian sparkling wine that we know very well here, Prosecco? What are the differences in production between the two, Prosecco and Metodo Classico? Absolutely. Prosecco is very popular in the United States. But uh, Ferrari is not a Prosecco. We use different grapes and we use especially a different method. Prosecco is made with uh, Metal Charmant, so the second fermentation that gives the sparkling is made uh, inside of tanks, stainless steel tanks. While in a Ferrari we use Metodo Classico, so where each bottle is kind of a unique bottle because a part of the process happens in the bottle itself. The second fermentation, where the perlage is coming from, happens inside of the bottle. And then we have a long aging on the leaves. So this makes a huge difference already because the Prosecco is a shorter, easier process mm -hmm. that it's good for more fruity and aromatic wines. The Metodo Classico, it's a process that takes much longer. It takes uh, between three years for this Ferrari Brut. So it's a multi-year slow process that allows the, the wine to have, uh, let's say, a great complexity and structure because the long aging on the lees obviously add to the fruity flavors of the grape itself uh, the complexity of the yeast that uh, over time uh, goes from the pastry notes uh, up to the uh, vanilla and oli. It, it becomes almost an antique kind of taste that are typical of Metodo Classico. I think you find with this, as you mentioned, the second fermentation in the bottle, you get a lot more complexity. And um, what strikes me about this is that there's maybe it's more of an elegant style than maybe m some champagnes that you find. So I would put this more Thank on you. the elegant end. Uh, this is our Ferrari Brut. It's a Blanc de Blanc. So already this uh, is something that uh, sets the tone because it's 100% Chardonnay from, uh, from Trentino. You see that the, the climate and the terroir of Trentino gives us a good acidity that it's important to achieve this cleanness and this elegance. And uh, at the same time, the long aging on the lee is almost three years enables the yeast uh, to add some uh, uh, old uh, this flavor that are still in harmony you know it's um, in terms of wine making uh, the the elegance must come also from the harmony between what you perceive at the nose in the nose and uh, in your mouth uh, and uh, it's like an orchestra i mean a great wine is always like an orchestra where you get different instruments that uh, 
needs to sing to play together and uh, none of them has to be too strong uh, they need to play together in harmony and um, and that's uh, especially in a in a method of class in a trento doc we like the fruit and the yeast to play together in a very harmonic way i noticed looking at the bottle that this is a brut so a dry style are there some pairings that you like to recommend with the, with the ferrari so you can use this for a great Italian aperitif by matching Ferrari Brut with, uh, for example, Parmesan and ham. But uh, even with more structured food, uh, Ferrari Brut can be perfect with a risotto with, uh, with cheese uh, is, uh, is a typical uh, dish. Uh, and um, with uh, our rosé or the more uh, structured reserve, you can even go to, meat to, uh, to certain kind of meat. Very good. Well, thank you for coming to share this lovely wine and the story of Ferrari and how you make the wine. And chin thank chin. you very much to you. Cheers.